Chief Justice of India, U. U. Lalit, and Justice Ravindra Bhatt dissent with the majority view on the economically weaker section quota. The Supreme Court Constitution Bench upholds a 10% reservation for the economically weaker section with a 3 is to 2 majority. The Supreme Court today delivered its verdict on the validity of the central law for the 10% reservation benefits to the economically weaker section, the EWS. The bench ruled on a bunch of legal issues surrounding the validity of the 103rd constitutional amendment providing for the 10% reservation for the economically weaker section. By the 103rd Amendment Act in the constitution provided 10% reservation in jobs as well as in education to the EWS who were to be people other than the uh, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and the OBC and whose annual family income was below 8 lakh rupees. This was introduced just before the 2019 general elections as many as 40 petitions were heard by the Supreme Court against it, including by the state of Tamil Nadu. So we have my colleague uh, Arvind uh, joining us. Uh, Arvind, first take us through the proceedings in court. What was said and on what grounds has this been upheld? Supreme Court Constitution bench in a majority view of 3 used to 2 today has upheld the uh, validity of this 103rd constitutional amendment through which the center government had introduced the 10% reservation for the economically weaker section. So three judges, uh, Justice Dinesh Maheshwari, Justice Bella Devedi and also Justice Pardiwala has, have held that this particular 10% reservation for the economically weaker section is not discriminatory in nature and they have also upheld that this particular 103rd amendment, constitutional amendment is is not violative of the basic structure of the constitution, whereas uh, Chief Justice of India, U. U. Lalit, and also Justice Ravindra Bhatt, both of them have held that this particular exclusion, exclusion in this 103rd amendment, that's the other backward classes not being included in this 10 particular reservation, 10% reservation for the economically weaker section, is actually discriminatory and it does not go well with the uh, constitution, and that's why they have said that uh, section 2 and section 3 of the 103rd uh, constitutional amendment is unconstitutional. So we have uh, advocate Chadan Fasad with that. He is one among the petitioners. He appeared for one among the petitioners in this particular case. So, uh, Fasad, uh, today Supreme Court in a majority view of 3 is to 2 has upheld uh, the 10% reservation for the economically weaker section. So, uh, what is the, uh, the main ground on which the majority view, they, they, they concluded that 103rd amendment, constitutional amendment is not uh, unconstitutional. So, there were two main grounds of challenge to this amendment. One was that economic criteria uh, cannot be the sole basis of grant of reservation. On that, all the five judges have agreed that it can be the sole basis of grant of reservation. So on that, there is unanimity. There was a second ground of challenge, which is that the exclusion of backward caste and uh, namely SCSTs and OBCs is violative of the basic structure inter alia because they are the poorest amongst all the groups. So if you're using economics as a criteria or poverty as a criteria, then be consistent in that. Don't bring in caste into that. Now on that ground, two of the judges have disagreed and said for that reason, the amendment is violative of the basic structure and therefore have struck down the entire amendment because that exclusion is unconstitutional according to them. So there are two diametric points of view only on one point, but that point is of huge consequence, which is the exclusion of backward caste from this economic criteria because effectively what it becomes otherwise is a forward caste quota for economically weak within the forward caste. And that is something which is constitutionally not acceptable. So also because there is this Indra Sani judgment that have kept the ceiling 50% uh, for the reservation. Has that been dwelled into by this uh, constitution bench? Because this particular 10% reservation for the EWS is above the 50% quota, right? Yeah, so the majority in the, the same majority has also held that uh, the 10% beyond 50% is permissible. So they have in effect uh, said that the 50% limit is not a rule of basic structure and therefore it's uh, exceeding that limit uh, through a constitutional amendment will not violate the basic structure. Now that of course opens the Pandora's box. I don't know how they have couched it. We'll have to read the opinions carefully. But if they have not put some uh, safeguards or uh, guardrails there, then it opens the Pandora's box into uh, different kinds of reservations which in the future can be introduced way beyond even 60%. Yeah, because there are several states where more than 50% reservation are still existing and there are several such petitions pending before the Supreme Court also. So with the Supreme Court in a way consider Considered the Indra Sani judgment and said that the above 50% is well within the limit, if at all, well within the reasonable uh, permission, if at all, if the government could come up with some kind of a data to uh, to justify such an extension in the other uh, increase in the reservation. See, I don't think they would have gone by at least at this. I have to read the opinion, but at least at the stage of arguments, the 10% was not sought to be justified so much on 
on data. So I don't think they have gone so much on data. They have gone by the judgment of parliament on or uh, through a constitutional amendment process. Uh, so that's what they possibly would have gone by. But we don't know right now. We'll have to examine the opinion and then what is repercussions. If, as I said, if there are no guardrails which have been imposed, then it's uh, it opens a Pandora's box. Okay. Dutch uh, Shadan, who appeared for one of the petitioners in this particular case, like he mentioned, on, on, on this very particular point, whether uh, economic criteria alone can be the sole uh, uh, criteria for this 10% reservation, for which, according to him, all the five judges have agreed with that uh, contention that economic criteria can alone be a, a, a basis for giving the reservation that all the five judges have agreed with. But on this very limited point, whether the backward classes, people from backward classes can be excluded from this 10% economically weaker section reservation. That's something that two of the judges, Chief Justice uh, U.U. Lalit and also Justice Ravindra Bhatt have dissented with the, all the other three people saying that the, this is discriminatory in nature. The other backward classes people should also be, if they are not if they are not included in this 10% 10 reservation, then according to them that uh, unconstitutional. But whereas the other three judges have held that that particular exclusion can also be allowed, though that does not breach the basic structure of constitution. Right, uh, you know, uh, Arvind, the first take us through those key issues, those three key issues that were discussed in court today and also, uh, you know, the petitions that were filed, 40 of them that were heard. Yeah, uh, there were almost 39 petitions were filed. Uh, some of the petitioner, uh, petitioners had moved the High Court and Supreme Court by its own motion based on the request from the Centre Government, transferred all those cases that are pending before the several High Courts uh, to itself because Supreme Court was seized of the matter because Centre said that this is a pa act that was passed uh, in Parliament and that's why they wanted the Supreme Court uh, to adjudicate this matter instead of various High Courts and that's why the petitions that were pending in several High Courts were transferred to the Supreme Court and almost 39 uh, petitions were heard by the Supreme Supreme Court uh, Constitution Bench. So if you could see the uh, important issues, one, uh, like we have been explaining, the very basis, can economic criteria alone be the sole basis for granting reservation? That's something that was the first question that was raised by the petitioner. They have said that the reservation can be given based on uh, for socially and economically uh, uh, backward classes. If that's the case, can economic, can economic status of a person alone be the criteria for giving reservation? That's something that was the first question that was raised uh, before the uh, uh, constitution bench. And second one, exclusion of the backward classes in this particular 10% uh, reservation. Because in this 10% economically uh, reservation for the economically weaker section, only those people from the general category who have the annual income of less than 8 lakh they were eligible uh, for this they are eligible for this 10% uh, reservation and under, under the economically weaker section and that's why the petitioners also challenged it saying that because they, it is excluding the uh, backward classes from this 10% reservation and that's why they called it a discriminatory in nature and third one is the Indra Sani judgment that said that the maximum cap limit or the the maximum ceiling limit of the reservation is only 50% so on these three grounds uh, several petitions were filed uh, and three judges have held that the 10 percent reservation through the 103rd constitutional amendment does not violate the basic structure of the constitution it is not discriminatory in nature and they have also appealed that the 50 percent ceiling is flexible it's not mandate it's it's not the fixed limit that's uh, flexible and that's why three of the five judges have appealed that the uh, 103rd constitutional amendment is valid is constitutional but whereas on the sole ground that because it is uh, it is excluding the other backward classes from this 10 percent reservation that's where two of the judges Chief Justice of India, U. Lalit and Justice Ravindra Bhatt uh, dissented with the majority.